Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here today, and today I'm going to show you how to do dictation. Now I'm going to have to do this in segments because I cannot actually use dictation when my Zoom account is actively using my microphone. So I'm going to show you how to set it up, and then I'm going to actually have to have another computer record me on uh, my laptop, and it's going to have to use a camera. It won't be that clear but you'll be able to see the icons and get the idea of how to do dictation. It's incredibly powerful. And the different features that I wanna show you is, there's already dictation built into your computer. So totally free already. Yeah, you had to buy the program. You had to buy your computer. Uh, you can use any screen reader with it. It works great. Uh, so you can do this all for free and it dictates very, very well. You do have to use your combination between Cortana uh, which will open things beautifully. Let's give an example to see if this is going to conflict with my Zoom. Hey, Cortana. It is. Open Word. And of course, my other computer is opening it because I'm actually, you can hear it. Yep. Word, WordPad, or Office. Okay. So uh, it, that is a really incredible feature. And uh, I'll show you that also when I completely disconnect this section and then I'll start up another section. Which one did you want? Word. Okay, and you can hear her okay. in the background yeah, opening. Because that computer is not using Zoom. So you can actually hear how easy that was. You can ask her what time it is. Hey, Cortana, what time is it? It's 7.09 a.m. Okay, beautiful, beautiful feature. So let me walk you through those steps on how to set it up. I'm not going to be able to, I'll just take you through the steps because of course, like I said, my Zoom is using my screen capture and my microphone, so I cannot do this. This is not gonna be your issue. So the first thing you wanna do is hit your- Search box key. edit, type in C-O-R, or isolate E, Cortana permissions, system settings, enter yeah. settings, search box, find the setting edit, type in text. So the first thing you're going to do is uh, tab to talk to Cortana. Cortana list box. Talk to Cortana. One of three. To enter. enter. Talk to Cortana. Okay. Now. Talk to Cortana. Microphone. Check the microphone link. So I cannot do all of these things, uh, but you will be able to. You need to tab through all of these options. You need to turn on Cortana. Uh, let me see what kind of issues I'm going to get when I hit enter on uh, check for microphone, because what I do want to tell you is there is a certain phrase that people think you have to say, it is not. Uh, you're just gonna hit enter on your microphone and you can say whatever you want. It just needs to listen to your microphone. Uh, it won't find me though, because I'm actively using microphone. So just hit enter on, on the check for microphone. Let's actually see it, how far I can get. Hey Cortana, let Cortana oh, microphone yeah. check the enter. enter. Speech cancel button okay, to so activate press space bar. And it's gonna say Cortana can't hear me. So you're gonna go ahead and hit enter on that and then you're just gonna start speaking. Enter, cancel button to activate, press space bar. Line and real tech, our audio, the connector for- Once again, you have to up and down arrow. I have a lot of different microphones and just different ways I connect. So you do need to up and down arrow. You're probably only gonna have two. Uh, pick the one that you want. Mine, I'm talking through my life cam right now, but that is connected. Stereo mix, desktop microphone, three Microsoft registered life cam cinema TM, no jack information. It's going to say no jack information available. It's, don't worry about that. You just have to set this up. Um, I'm already concerned about the conflict on this. Uh, Alt N, and at that point, it's going to ask me to just speak into it, just speak into it, and it will set it up for you. So I don't want to cause that conflict because I want to take you through all the different options on how to get this set up. So I'm going to hit Escape out of there. You need to continue to set that up. Escape settings. Okay. Talk to tab through. Hey Cortana, let Cortana respond to Hey Cortana button. Yeah, ah. you want to do that, and just tab through all your different options. You can actually set up your keyboard shortcut from it, uh, which is Windows key C. I don't have that activated because I just say her name and she comes on and she will, I can tell her to open programs, what time it is, uh, everything. It's uh, really nice. So that's Cortana though. It's not dictation. It's kind of like the difference between on your phone, Siri and voiceover, okay? So uh, now I'm just gonna Alt F4 out of there and then I'm gonna go to speak. Alt F4, malware. Yes, I could have done that through that, but I'm just gonna show you how to do the search key. Search box as e -E -E, Windows speech recognition app. Okay, same issue I'm gonna have. I can't go through the whole setup because I'm actively using my microphone and screensaver, so I'm gonna just hit enter. Enter. 
Set up speech recognition. Okay. Next button to activate. Press Stay. space bar. Alt okay. plus F. So you're going to want to hit next. Uh, I think I can go Space. Oh, headset wait, microphone here. radio button checked. One of one. Yeah. Uh, headset absolutely works the best. On my laptop, when I'm in a really quiet environment, I don't use a headset at all. And it does probably about 99% correct in the dictation. So that is really, really nice. So if you're in a really quiet environment, not many people have those, but I, when I travel, I'm in my room all by myself and I can use dictation. Headset is the best. We're talking about students, so get them a good headset uh, and that works great. Of course, live cam is external. That's not the way you want to go. Just hit next, do the same thing and set it up. Okay, and I'm going to hit escape out of there because I can't do that. Escape, speech recognition setup, cancel dialogue. Do you want to cancel yes, speech recognition setup? Speech old Y, malware bytes, tray app. Okay, other options. I'm going to hit my start. Search by SE, e, e, Windows speech recognition app, E, SPC web, E, Windows speech recognition, SPC web results. Whoops. H, C, H, Windows speech recognition app. And then I'm going to down arrow. Find speech settings, yeah. system settings. And that's what you want to do. Now, you can down arrow even more. Speech, turn on speech recognition, yeah. system settings. You can just turn it on and actually go right to the different settings. And I'm going to hit enter. Enter, Cortana, settings, speech, Here dictate. Are. Any one of those would have taken me there. So, uh, turn on speech recognition is what I want. So, I'm actually going to do this when I'm videoing so you get the idea, but you need to know how it is and screen capture so much clearer. Then, of course, when I'm going to have an external camera, and it's going to be aimed at the computer. Uh, so you can also do uh, Windows key H. That's a different type of dictation. So let me show you that in Word. I actually don't utilize that one. I hit enter on turn on speech recognition. I just use my headset and it does a phenomenal job of dictating. You will see that also. Um, you can also press the Windows key, uh, Control and S to toggle speech recognition on and off. So that is a hot key also. Once again, tap through all of your speech options in order to get this set up. So this is one speech option. And then the other one is going to be Dragon. So I'm going to hit all that for I'm going to show you the programs and I'm actually going to show you how to utilize them. Uh, so Dragon, I have actually J say that is Jaws and Dragon. They are married together, so they work really fluidly. So it really is dependent on what you need. Uh, if you've got a braille display, absolutely a uh, big believer getting that braille under your fingers because that will help you make corrections and whatnot. But the next one is you could just buy the program Dragon. You're wearing a headset. Uh, you're going to have Jaws speaking uh, in your headset. And so you can hold down on issues. It works really pretty well. Um, but it doesn't give you that um, kind of married feature. And I'll actually show you the different options of how those work together once again. So uh, if I Windows, Windows M, M, Desktop, D, Dropbox, D, DVD, Dragon. There's my Dragon, and I can hit Enter on that. And I'll show you how to get it set up. It won't work correctly. Enter. Loading Dragon Dialog, Nuance Dragon English version 15.30, copyright, copyright 1991. It can't open my profile. It's because I'm using actively using uh, my microphone, but the profile will uh, open. And then, of course, you're going to hear me say, wake up, go to sleep. Um, and it works beautifully also. Okay. Uh, it says launch, restore on this, but it's not going to work without um, my actual ability to use my microphone. So that's another way. That one costs money, 79 bucks. Uh, depending on the level, it may be a couple hundred. Not that much, so it just depends on what level you want. JSAY is about five, six hundred dollars. Once again, that you need to buy, you need to get your JAWS license first. That's free to all of our students using APH quota funds. Um, if you're an adult, then of course you need to buy your JAWS license first, then you get your Dragon and the license, and then you get them married together, and they work really, truly phenomenal. Okay, so I'm going to stop this uh, section of the video, and then I'm going to actually set up my camera to be aimed at my laptop, so you can get the full view of what is going on between each one of these programs. They are incredibly powerful, and uh, even as an adult, I'm using dictation constantly because uh, I get very severe tendonitis in my hands typing all day and my fingers are moving incredibly, incredibly fast 
and that just causes <laughs> my arms great pain. So dictation, I live and breathe by it. Uh, so not only does it just help you get your work done faster, it really helps those students who have orthopedic issues, typing issues, uh, reading issues, dyslexia, dysnomia, incredible uh, program for those kids also. Okay, let's go ahead and get going on uh, the video on the screen. Drag and bar to move meeting controls, meeting and alt Q, and meeting or leave meeting. To Here we are now with JSA, which is Dragon and Jaws married together. So I've got my headset on and Jaws is gapping away in my headset and of course a microphone in front of my mouth. It's about uh, half an inch, uh, three quarters of an inch away from my mouth. Okay, here we go. Wake up. Open Word. Press Enter. When you dictate, just make sure you say the commands with force, period. New line. New line. Press Control E. Bold on. The importance of technology. Bold off. Select line. Press Shift F3. End of line. Press enter. Press enter. Press control L. Press control two. Numeral one. Bold on. Technology helps improve communication. Select line. Press shift F3. End of line. Press enter. Bold off. Press tab. Nowadays, comma, many companies rely on different applications and software for communication, period. There is a lot more to say on this, exclamation mark. Press enter. Numeral two, period. Italic on. Technology improves efficiency. Exclamation mark. Italic off. Press enter. Press tab. Cap, there is no denying the fact technology increases the efficiency of the company, period. Select nowadays. Choose one. Go to end of document. Press enter. Numeral three, period. Underline on. Employees need technology to work efficiently. Underline off. Press enter. Press tab. Press control one. The role of technology in business is expanding at a breakneck space. Scratch that. Pace, period. Press home. Move right one. Press delete. Cap T. Backspace. Go to end. Employees also expect their supervisors to provide them with the latest equipment so that they can work efficiently as well as effectively, period. Moreover, comma, the most recent technological equipment enabled the employees to compete with their peers and complete their task quicker, period. New line. Go to top of document. Press enter. Move up one. Press Alt N, press D, press Enter, hush up, open Outlook,
Push up. Press at six. Press enter. Denise Robinson. Press control N. Denise. Press enter. Press tab twice. Press tab. Press tab. Homework. Press tab. Cap, please see attached. Period. Press tab. Tab. Press tab. Press enter. Press enter. Denise Robinson. Press Alt N. Press tab. Press enter. Pre move down three. Move down one. Press enter. Press Alt S. Move up one. Move up one. Move up one. Press enter. Press control R. Looking to seeing you soon, period. Press Alt S, press Alt F4, press Alt F4, press spacebar. Press F12. Technology. Press enter. Press all F4. Press Windows 3. Press Alt D. Google.com. Press Enter. Black Bears. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Enter. Press Enter. Hush up. Read page. Hush up. Press Alt F4. Plus Windows D. Move up three. Move left one. Move down four. Press J. Press Z. Press D. Press Windows T. Move right two. Move right one, move left three, press enter, press Alt F4, 
press Windows B, press Alt F4, press Escape, stop listening. Okay, and that is how you do JSAY. Now let's go ahead and I will stop this and go to just straight Dragon. Okay, now we JSAY and we're going to be emailing directly from Word and using Outlook. Just going to show some basic JSAY commands. Remember, you always want to know the status of your microphone. So I'm just going to start with check microphone. And of course, JSAY is telling me that it is sleeping. You always want to know your status of your microphone so you're not accidentally dictating or giving commands you don't want to do. Okay, so let me tell you the mode of which we're going to do first so you will understand the commands as I move along. I'm going to tell him to, you know, uh, can't say the words because he will come alive. And then I'm going to go to Outlook. I'm going to do some basic commands of doing a search for a particular name, since it typically is easy to just move through with saying move down. So I'll do a search first, I'll search for that name, then of course I'll jump into the list view and I'll move down, I'll open that email and I'll read it. You want to be very aware of the different commands. If you use the text to speech uh, voice, which is a female voice, you can never say hush up, you can't give JSA commands, they, it works differently. If you actually want to use the JSA commands, you're going to start with speak instead of read document. So be aware of that. I will be using the JSA commands, but of course you have options there. Okay, here we go. Wake up. Open Outlook. Press Control E. Sellers. Press Shift Tab. Move down one. Move down one. Confirm that. Speak document. Hush up. Close document. Press Control N. Denise, confirm that. Press Tab. Press Tab. Dictating an email. Press tab. Hello, this is Denise sending an email to myself. Press Alt S. Open Word. Press Escape. Hello, this is Denise Robinson. Press enter. I will now email this work through Outlook. Press Alt. Press F. Press Z. Press Tab. Press Enter. Denise. Press enter. Press tab. Press tab. Press tab. Press tab. I am now emailing from Word. Press enter. Press alt. Press H. Press A. Press S, 
press enter, press alt S, switch to Outlook. Go to top of document, move down one, move down one, move down one, confirm that, speak document, press alt, press H, Press R, press A. Yes, I believe we need to do this. Press Alt S. Close document. Switch to Word. Press Enter, press Enter. And now you can see how to email from Word, how to create an email in Outlook, how to read an email in Outlook, how to do a search in Outlook, and how to move around the list view. Press Enter. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Stop listening. Okay, so before we begin uh, more Dragon, let's go ahead and have some Cortana fun. Hey Cortana, what's the weather like today? The forecast shows rain and snow showers with a high of 38 and a low of 27. And it right is. now, <laughs> it's rain, snow showers and 37. And you know what? She's right. It is. Hey Cortana, what does your name mean? My name comes from Cortana, the legendary sword. Thank you. Hey Cortana, what time is it? It's 3.33 p.m. Hey Cortana, can you give me directions to Kroger Supermarket? I can help you save time, which I've heard can be more valuable than money. <laughs> but you can't help me find my way to the supermarket. Hey Cortana, open PowerPoint. Okay, opening PowerPoint. Hey Cortana, close PowerPoint. Here's a list from teachyoucomp.com for close PowerPoint. And she doesn't really know how to close it, so there you go. So we need an all F4. But she's really good at opening things. Hey, Cortana, open Excel. Sure, starting Excel. Hey, Cortana, what movies are playing today at the Meridian? Here's some movies playing in Bristol, Tennessee. The Invisible Man, Sonic the Hedgehog, The Call of the Wild, Birds of Prey, Brahms the Boy 2, Bad Boys for Life, and Fantasy Island. Thank you. Okay, so you can get an idea. There's a plethora and a myriad of things uh, that she can tell you. Uh, she can't close things, which is hilarious but she can open a lot of things and give you the basics of information, time, date, weather, uh, so you know how to dress. Okay, let's go ahead and get into dictation now. So that you can control your computer com completely with your voice and uh, combining it with several keyboard commands is, makes it a lot easier. You don't have to give as many verbal commands, but you don't need to. So I'm just going to give you a verbal demonstration of what you can do, and these are just the basics. Wake up. 
open Word. Press Escape. Press Alt V. Press H. Press Control R. Robinson. Press Alt. Press U. Press Alt I. Press U. Press Enter. Press Escape. Denise Robinson. Press Control 2. Press Enter. Teacher. Scratch that. Cap Teacher. Press Enter. Cap Subject. Press Enter. Press Alt N. Press D. Move down. Move down two. Move down three. Move down two. Press enter. Press enter. Press control E. Cap title. Press enter. Press control L. Press tab. This is how you can use dictation in order to set up a cap MLA slash cap APA paper period. Press home, press right arrow, press delete, press cap T, press end. You can do so many things with dictation, period. It is incredibly powerful, period. If you are blind, you can use cap JSA in order to operate this program, period. Select JSA. Move down one, move down one, move down one. Press enter. Press control left arrow, press backspace. Press end. Go to end of document. Open Chrome, scratch that. Press Windows 2. Press Control T. Press Y. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Tab. Press Tab. Press Tab. Your Tech Vision. Press Space. Robinson. Press Space. Word. Press space, move down one, move down one, press enter. Press tab, press enter. Welcome to another lesson by yourtechvision.com. Press caps lock K. Press caps lock K. Show the rest of the world who, have not, who has not discovered Press this caps lock K. Press Alt F4. Press Windows 1. Press Control T. Press Y. Press Enter. Press Tab. Press Tab. Press Tab. Press tab. Christopher Duffley. Select Duffley. Spell mode on. Cap D U F F L E Y. Press enter. Press tab. Press tab. Press shift tab. Press enter. All right, guys, this is the last one. You want to sing along? Where's your two heart? This is Amazing Grace.
press Alt D, press Control C, press Alt Tab, press Enter, Christopher Duffley, Normal Mode On, Christopher Duffley, select Duffley, Spell Mode On, capital D-U-F-F-L-E-Y. Select Christopher Duffley. Press Control K. Press Control V. Press Enter. Move left one. Press Alt Enter. Press Caps Lock K. Control T. Press D. Press Enter. Press Control F4. Press Alt Tab. Go to End. Press Enter. This is a basic demonstration of how you can use Dragon, comma, Cap JSA, which is a very powerful dictation program. Press Home. Press Delete. Press Cap T. Go to End of Document. Press enter, press control E, cap thank you for watching, exclamation mark.